All right, here we are, day one at the ABN Expo. I got the Plug Talk squad with me. You know I had to come equipped. They all got the merch on. I don't think it's available right now if you want to buy it, so don't even think about asking in the comments below. Uh, yeah, we're just trying to get up in here. We're gonna have as many conversations as we can with the crazy ass fans who actually came on a Thursday. Wait, was it Wednesday? That's a Wednesday. If you came on Wednesday, that means that you are so dedicated to the porn life that you don't even give a shit about missing work. This is the most important thing to you in your life. So today we are going to see a special species of porn fan. And I, for one, am excited. And also, I think we're going to find the next Blog Talk signee while we're out here. So if you see me, babes, let us know. So this is the first ever person that I've seen here who I've already had sex with. So that's pretty dope. Introduce oh, yourself. Hi. A Blood Talk guest. Bella Bloom. From Hello. 2022. She's here. We had a great time together, right? I'm the hey. first one you've seen that you've had I mean, that's probably a lie, but it feels like it in this moment. Around. And I really, this is not about facts. It's about feelings. And one of my friends hit me up after we shot with no. you. No. Yes. One of my friends hit me up and he's like, yo, that girl goes to hardcore shows. She used to date my homie. I was like, that makes me think she's way doper. Awesome. You're going to see a lot of cool stuff. You better be ready to edit nearly everything out of these videos. I want everything in the background to just be a wall of blur. Yo, the village. Oh, this is the gay section. I, was, I saw this when I was looking at the map. I didn't know they were going to be in your face like this with it. Damn. How are you living? We're getting out of here soon, dude. We will. You getting out of here? Oh, no. Just for your yeah, space. Yeah, oh, okay. Oh. Wait, no, no, no. We'll, we'll be here. This we'll is where we're doing our mean green thing? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, all right. Exactly. Nice. So we'll just do the transition. Oh, okay. guys in here. Loud as fuck. How, yeah, how was it? It was fun. The were great. So, so these guys are trying to pass it off as if they're just here to do a podcast or some shit. But the reality is, is these guys beat off. 12 to 15 <laughs> times a day. They're the biggest porn fans Two you've ever seen time. in your life. Yes, yes. Specifically, they be to me. It's their fetish and theirs alone. Yeah, yeah. Uh, really, Trevor Wallace is a chronic masturbator. That's the main thing I want to get across here. I don't know if you can catch his reaction, but he's thinking about beating off right now. I jerk off like LeBron in the finals. He's dedicated to comedy, and he's dedicated to chafing his meat seven or eight times a day. When Adam calls out of work one day for plug talk, I'm in there. So Jeff Boski, one of the greatest living American poker players, Vegas resident. We had Nobu together a couple months back during the World Series of Poker. But I've heard on the streets that he's a fan of Sky Bree. So I'm happy to make the introduction. This is her uh, homegirl, Rara, as well. That's, my, that's the lovely Lena the Plug who's seen me watching your poker vlogs oh, yeah. in the past repeatedly. It's just amazing for it to all come to fruition in real life compared to in the digital world. That's what I'm saying. The yeah. first ever podcast part. Look at how we bedazzled this shit. It's, it's a great format. I mean, it's a win-win situation for Adam22. I mean, hey, when you put it like that. All right, so I'm out here in Las Vegas representing Plug Talk, and I'm going to have some conversations with some different people. Let's get into it. Uh, who are you out here to see? Uh, I'm out here for myself, promoting my only Oh, band. okay, so you, you slang big. Slang big. Yeah, how long you been doing it? Uh, whole life. And uh, how long you been in the business? 17 years. How much has it changed over those 17 years? I used to be a VHS, and then we did DVDs, and then mini DVDs, and then we went to, like, you know, the internet. Like the guy's a big Andrew Tate fan. Is that a turnoff? Yes. This is realistically probably the most successful person that's ever emerged out of the No Jumper muck, realistically. I'm honored. Thank you. Who inspired you to start slanging down on camera? A uh, girlfriend of mine who's been doing it for years in the past. <laughs> Besides your girlfriend, who's your favorite adult star? Ooh. I said I had a girlfriend. I said a girlfriend of mine. Hey, Emma Magnolia. Emma, I'm going to be honest with you. I think you might have been one of our steamiest threesomes of 2022. How's that feel hearing that? That's, that feels great. I had fun too. I say <laughs> that, that I know when I'm not around and he needs to jerk off to something, he Googles the pictures that we have together. <laughs> How do you know that? And why aren't you mad at me for that? Kendra, uh, how many AVN Expos have you been to? Four. Like, what have you learned about how to keep it going? Um, I chug alcohol and I hit my vape pen. So this guy just comes up to me and lets me know his name is what? Van Damage? Van Damage. And he said that he's basically the white dread. He said he's got the wine bottle on him. One of the biggest white in America. Do you feel like white 
Different is like the WNBA. What? Where we just we can't really compete on the same level as. Yeah. Is this well, a ridiculous metaphor? You bring up dread all the time on your shit. It's yeah, so you're, you're saying you can, you can step to him. A bunch can of poop I show in there. this on there? Uh, I mean, you, you can just show me. Uh, we can't show it on. This. I mean, I'm comparing it to. You see, guys, they don't compare shit. I mean, to either objects. either it's a really big dick or a really small wine bottle. I don't know. Or, there's already fans lingering, and I have to get into the mindset of doing like a meet and greet right now, which I haven't done in a long time because of COVID. Adam, he already he's already in it. He's doing it. Huh? You're just talking to people already. You talk to people every day. I'm holed up in the house. I'm appearing on people's uh, blogs yeah. and different sort of man on the street content. Very similar to like what we're creating. come back every year and they're like I'm getting another photo with you let's do this I'm, I'm impressed all right so we're done with day one of our meet and greet the girls are putting their skibbies back on we're about to walk around and get a little bit more content all right so I've been given access to the Jules Jordan booth here one of the biggest names in the industry I'm gonna go creep around see what we can uh, get ourselves into here Chantel how you feeling Hi. Fantastic. How, how's the convention going for you this year? It's good. It's my first AVN. Yeah. So. You were like a real porn star a year ago, right? No. Let's go. You nominated? What are you nominated for? Uh, spectacular boobs and hottest newcomer. Spectacular boobs. I have always felt like they were pretty spectacular. I think spectacular is a fair word, yeah? yeah. I was wanting to say hi to Miss Vina Sky. <laughs> go. On the plug. Kenzie, how has your year been and uh, what are you hoping to accomplish here at the AVN Expo? Oh my gosh, my year was busy. I shot a lot of scenes this year. I'm definitely not going to be able to physically shoot that many scenes in a year again. What's your definition of a high value man? A high value man is a man who sees my value. I bring a lot of value to a relationship and I'm aware of it at this point. So a cool, chill, born boyfriend who's not going to get mad about you going off and running around with Johnny Sins. Absolutely. I mean, the thing is, is I'm not running around with Johnny Sins. I'm making, I'm, I'm creating. You're working. I'm working and I'm going home, you know? And it's going to take a really special person to, that's a high value man, a man who sees that. I like, I like knowing that a high value man is basically just any guy who really likes you. <laughs> I, I appreciate that. I think you speak for all women. <laughs> Doing a little photo shoot with Lena, the MF and plug right wow. now. Don't but uh, today's day two of our time spent here in Vegas. I'm about to head to the convention and to meet more beautiful women and lovely fans, right? Yes. But first we gotta take a couple photos. We in here, oh, I'm wearing a size large shirt. It's not every day that I rock a size large shirt, but half these guys got their shirts off, so I gotta try and compete any way I can. Maybe I could have done a tank top. I don't know. Kaylee Gunner is uh, seated here. We're at the Brazzers booth. Hi, we're here, baby. ABN 2023. You've seen her on the Patreon. You seen her at the No Jumper Live show. She came through. She showed some actual love. Where were you? Where were you? Go watch it right now. Look, these guys came to the convention just rocking hella Cubans and just shining on all these hey, girls. Right? Yeah, 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 what it's supposed to be. <laughs> Real? It's what it's supposed to be. Real ice. What, what, what's the intentions here? Shit, we just moving around. We trying to be seen. Checking out what's on the market. Yeah. yeah. Fresh, fresh work. Yeah. Fresh work. Yeah. Fresh work. You know what I'm saying? Well, a lot of it ain't that fresh, but. No, no, no. Yeah. A lot of this shit high mileage over here. It's <laughs> a lot of high mileage shit around here. Good job. Young gravy in this bitch. Yeah, he's like taller? much, much taller than me. I'm You're not used to. Like six four? He's six three. Six three. Yeah. How's life, man? Yeah, we got we're going to show tonight. I did a deep dive on the Young Gravy catalog this morning yeah. too. Yeah, yeah. yeah, it's dope. Yeah, we're all arguing in the group chat about if you were dope or not. Yeah. Yeah, all the black guys are fucking with you. Myself like, included. You, you gotta go deeper than like my like two biggest songs because they're old. I, I, I got some fire. For sure. Can we get an interview in one day? Yeah, yeah, I'm down. So this line that you're looking at right now is the line to meet, hug, possibly take a picture with Angela White. I want to be honest with you, I knew she was super popular. I did not know it looked like this. She is out of this world right now. This line is crazy. So explain this to me. Why do you have the longest line in this building? I knew you were popping. I didn't know it was like that. Uh, you tell me. What's your body count? In terms of lays, it's La like Casanova. It's a quarter of gin semen. How many times do you beat off per day? Oh, six or seven to get my mind right. 
What's your body count? Over 3,000. I can't even count. 3,000? Yeah, I'm a slut. What is your best estimate of your body count? God, well over 1,000. I'm 44. You think that porn is having a negative effect on your life? No, I don't think so. Actually, I tried to stop for a month, and I was, like, depressed. I actually couldn't get hard. It was wild. Is that male ass, I'm going to assume? Yeah, I do. When did that become a part of your life? No, I started going to swingers clubs in my early 20s, and I really felt like I got to experiment there. Mm. I don't think I was eating a lot of ass in college, and that's a shame. Who's, who's your favorite star they want to see while you're here? Um. All right. So, uh... Made an astronomical amount of TikTok slash Instagram content, which will presumably get us some exposure on the algorithm, make us money, be able to pay for this trip. Anyway, we're headed out. I don't know where the fuck we're going. I'm going to try to capture some more insanity. There's a lot of wild shit going on. Met a lot of babes today, a lot of cool fans, a couple weird fans, a couple weird babes. Let's go. We are going for day three of the AVN Expo. Meeting up with Mike Malak, see what's going on. A little tired, we're out till two in the morning. It's very difficult for me. I drank a sugar-free Red Bull, had me feeling like I snorted an eight ball. And uh, now we're off, we're off. And we're going out into the wilderness with the girls and we're gonna get some more content. Let's go. So Vixen is doing something a little different. They have like a separate store going on in here to represent all their brands. And they got some of the biggest girls doing signings right now. Riley Reed is in here looking amazing, taking selfies with all her fans. How many genders are there? Fuck me. What have you been up to lately? Like, what do you do day to day? I have no idea. I work out. I just do boring shit. Like, I've been chilling. How long you have the braces for? Do you like them? Yes. Okay, I feel like they're gross. Um, for eight months, but I get them off in like a month. Right, do a lot more people think you're in high school? They like it. And I'm like, what's... Like, is that like some perverted shit? Yeah, but no, I feel like I get better head because I'm more careful and you have to be more sloppier because you have to be like really conscious of like what you're doing. Mm, so okay. I'm like so good now. Drake, <laughs> shout out. How'd you feel? Yeah, it felt really good. I don't know. Like, I kind of knew it was coming before it came. I'm not going to say he told me. Uh, so you knew it was coming. Knew but it was coming, <laughs> but before that, I was like, wait, what? Me in the song? Okay. Right. But it was hard. It was, I'm right. not a DJ yet. Is porn bad for people's mental health? No. It's really good. I think it's really healthy. Um, I think it like makes you more comfortable with your body. I was talking about the people who watch it, not you. Oh, <laughs> I think we need it. There would be more like killers out there if we didn't have porn. Right. Yes and no. So just like anything, it's good and bad. So if you do too much of it, obviously it can be really bad. But you know, here and there, it's like I like to watch porn. Like I, I, I watch a lot of porn, so I, you know, right. I don't think it's bad. Hey. No, I actually think it's the quite opposite. I think that men who have no place to relieve themselves should have porn because I feel like that helps prevent things like rape and fucking sexual assault. So like when you provide a safe place for someone to be able to satisfy themselves with their kinks and the things that they want and the pleasure and comfort of their own home, I feel like it's actually really healthy. Yeah. I mean, if you if you can't afford therapy, cop yourself an OnlyFans. Yeah. I mean, obviously moderation is key for yeah. everything. So like you're not even supposed to drink too much water or you'll drown yourself. So. Right. Maybe if you're like way too into it, like you could be like a porn addict, then it's not good. But right. And so would you feel responsible for the fact that some guy who beats his meat 10 times a day to you, that you're kind of part of the problem there? Yeah. How you doing? Are you a fan of Violet here? Yeah, hi, how are you? I'm a, I actually came to see you. I'm a little nervous right now. Hi. What do you think? You know about this guy? Yes. What do you know about him? He's a big YouTuber. Right. Yeah. That was a good that's, that's, I feel like that was a good answer. Yeah, that was a good answer. Yeah, he's come a long way. I, am. I haven't seen you in person. Congratulations to both you guys on that beautiful kid. Yeah, that's, that's Thank you, Doug. So sick. Um, Thank you for talking about my kid at the convention. Uh, well, I mean, I mean, dude, priorities, you know, first things first. But I was supposed to have a kid, um, but it got, I got replaced. Um, By an NBA player. NBA player. And you know what? God bless, bro. If I had a choice between an NBA player and a YouTuber, I'm going to choose the NBA player nine times out of ten. So who is your dream sex partner? Since Jason Love's here, probably Jason Love. Uh, wait, do you know what your body count is? About 3,500. It was a cheat code. I used to be a stripper, so right. I'd be fucking like whole bachelorette parties and shit. <laughs> wow. Slut as shit. If a guy wants to become an adult star, what does he need? What is required? A nice size dick and ability to not come fast. Mm. What are you thinking about when you're about to nut and you're trying to not, not to? What do you think about? 
uh, which next position I can put ass in so I could get away from this this tickle. <laughs> tickle. <laughs> you know, it's all tickling. You get too many tickles, you fucking you got to flip positions. Right. It's like it's the only way to curve it. Good. Just did like a million interviews with all the Vixen girls and everything. They made us come in here. Oh, dude, the branding wars are serious. They wanted us to do it right here so they could get the logos in there. I respect it. Capitalism, man. I want a family channel. All right. So. You, no, having his babies. I love that. A family channel with you two? Oh my god. This is the Ace family. Goodbye. It is done. <laughs> Happy New Year. Danny Your Banks. Yeah. Hey. Legend. Hi, babe. Legend. Hi, look at, look at legend. her butt. Look at her you butt. That thing kicking. Look at that. Woo! Yo. We have fun, though. We have we fun. Have fun. Day three at the booth. It is absolutely the craziest day here today. At first, I thought that there was like not going to be anyone here, and now it is. Crazy packed. They are here to see the ladies. They got beers in their hands. We're taking lots of photos. We're interviewing fans. Here's a big fan right here being interviewed for Blood Talk. Is this your first ABM? It's mine too. We're losing our virginity together. Who are you a fan of? Um. Sorry, I'm shy. I'm, I'm actually here to see someone from my wife. I'm looking for Lena Paul. I haven't seen her yet. So, and then um, a couple of guys. I don't know their names. I've just been taking random pictures with the guys, sending here the photos. Wait, you're taking pictures with your wife's favorite male porn stars while you're here? That I don't know. I don't know who they are. She won't tell me who they are. She's just like, send photos, and I'll let you know <laughs> if I have played with myself to that guy, yes or no. Have you guys been to other porn conventions together? We have not. This is our first one. Are you doing this to keep the spark alive? or? I actually gave it to him as a Father's Day gift this year. You're right. Do you have any kinks? I would love to finish on her face. Okay. Yeah. I love a good facial. What are your current thoughts on Andrew Tate, and do you think that he what is guilty of what he's been charged with? Well, at first I thought he was a, a nice guy, seemed like a good old-fashioned misogynist, but now they're saying he's some sort of sex trafficker, so I'm just going to wait for the verdict because it's starting to seem a little prickly. Uh, see, that's where, I, that's where I'm at. I like to let the courts decide. I'm not the, I'm not the uh, jury or the courts. Now, you mentioned Sky Bree, Sky Bree, Sky Bree, Sky Bree. The whole world is talking about her, and people want to know, did Target ever reach out to you? Were they mad that you took their best employee out of aisle seven? No, they didn't say anything. Adam, I got to say, thank you so much for, for uh, coming over, and we'll see you again on the next episode of Plug, Plug Talk. Thank you very Plug much. Talk. Uh, don't forget to like and subscribe. See ya.